Well, you know what that music means. We are headed back to the lake to Winona. Chris and Frank are live there tonight. Hi, guys. Hello again. Hello. Hi there. Yeah, we're really impressed with uh, everything we've seen today in Winona. Uh, obviously, we mentioned earlier all these uh, outdoor recreational uh, activities that are available to people here. But what's really cool is they have a uh, really ever-growing arts scene going on. And you got to check out the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. This baby houses works from uh, some of the biggest artists around. If you know nothing about art, you may have heard the names Pablo Picasso, Vincent van Gogh, Henri Matisse, Claude Monet. We have works by them here in this museum. This is the earliest Van Gogh painting in America, and it's in Winona, Minnesota. That's right, in Winona at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. Our permanent collection and our rotating exhibitions all have one thing in common, and is that is water. One step inside the gallery and that connection to water in Minnesota is pretty clear. Many of these artists worked in New York but traveled even to Minnesota back in the 1850s, 1860s and painted our region of the Mississippi and we have examples of those paintings here. Even if you don't know a lot about art, odds are you'll find something that will pique your interest. We have on offer uh, six galleries worth of art and that covers a lot of different bases. Three of those galleries rotate throughout the years so there's something new every time that you come into the museum. Right now that something new is from Minneapolis illustrator Adam Terman. You'll see two pieces he created just for the museum as well as others. Another way to get more people interested in fine art. We have not only the names but some of these artists best work here on display in Minnesota in Winona. I'll tell you what, it is absolutely amazing and uh, the Minnesota Marine Art Museum is open Tuesdays through Sundays and uh, 10 to 5 are the hours. Tuesdays are extra cool because students get in for free. Yeah, and they are into students. They want to make the scene grow. They host a lot of different educational groups and groups in general and we have a lot more information at uh, WCCO.com slash links. I love the fact that they rotate too so you see different people and different things and you get exposed to that stuff. It still blows my mind. Those mega artists we've oh, talked about forever World are here. Yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, nice.